Hey guys, check it out. I got myself the Super Saiyan 2 Son Goku exclusive edition. As you can see here, it's looking awesome. I love this box. The black and orange color scheme that it has is just awesome. And man, this is great. I thought I wasn't able to be able to get my hands on it, but I did. Big shout out to Big Bad Toy Store. Then pay uh, that too crazy for price. Uh, normally at the con it was 80. I paid 112 with the freaking chipping, but that's pretty much it. So let's go and check him out. And out of the box, this guy looks amazing. The aura effect looks great. This big, this chunk is actually pretty heavy. And Goku himself looks beautiful. This color scheme looks great. Now, do remember that this is basically the same old SH figure art Super Saiyan 2 Goku, but with a repaint and a few things here and there. But other than that, he looks amazing. He is a looker, honestly. So, let's check out his articulation here. Head can go right this much. Left this much. Down this much, which is a lot. Up this much, a lot as well. His arm has a little bit of a butterfly joint there. Not all the way. And this is as much as it can go up. And yeah, that shoulder pad is going to get in the way. But obviously, we can get it up here. The elbow bent there. And of course, he has the swirl that I really like. And ball jointed hands, of course, for the wrist. Up crunch, not that much forward, but backwards, there's a lot. This is as much he has on the legs. You can move them side to side as well. Knee articulation. Looking good. Ankle. Ball joint. And to articulation up. And that is pretty much it for the articulation. If you were wondering, yes, the halo is removable. You just twist it off a little bit like this. And there you go. No more halo. Okay, the R effect is big and heavy. Now, if you were wondering, how do you put the sparks? Well, they're on a ball joint. You basically press them in there. It can be a little bit difficult. And by the way, be careful. They're sharp, especially when you remove them. I got scratched a few times and it was not fun. Um, but yeah, this thing is big, bulky. I love it, but putting the spark effect parts on it is a pain. And removing them as well. But as you can see there, they do have articulation, which is pretty cool. And this is what the spark effect parts with the aura look like without any figures next to them. And you just put the figure in front to the side, whichever you want. Then you move the sparking effect parts all over. And it looks awesome, honestly. I really love it. It's big and it's heavy. And man, that alone, that alone would cost you 20 bucks. So, in my opinion, this is pretty darn awesome that they're giving you this. I I just love it. Okay, so this is Goku's standard expression as you can see there. He isn't happy and he isn't mad. You know, he's normal, but he looks great. The expression on his face looks pretty awesome. I think this is one of the things that they tweak um, with this version of the figure. Now, this is his grinning face. Looks great as well. Ooh, a lot of emotion right there and of course his smirking face the smiling one the very confident Goku which looks amazing loving the green eyes and here is the very angry Goku the one that's gonna kick your ass of course looking awesome so now that we took a look at the accessories how about we go and check out some poses
let's get here into some final thoughts. Final thoughts here. This Goku figure is beautiful. The paint job is just amazing. Now, obviously, it's the old SH figure R Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Just will repaint and a minor tweaks here and there. One of the things that I really, really, really love about this figure, um, besides the color, is that they give you the option to remove the halo. So you get, you basically have a dead Goku and a live Goku, which I love that. Um, obviously, the articulation isn't as good as something that's like the S.A. Sugar Arts Gohan from Dragon Ball Super Super the movie. Um, but I can overlook those things. I wish it came with a couple more effect parts. I wish it came with a Kamehameha, maybe, or an Energy Blast, something like that. Be but the Aura effect part with the lightning or sparking effects whatever you want to call them it, it just looks awesome now i really like that he has some battle damage i like that that is based off his fight against jackon i think if that's the name he, he fights him when in, in the bow saga which it, that, that's the other thing this is to go to the fights majin vegeta which is really awesome um but obviously i I wish they would have went the whole route of the battle damage and they would have done him, you know, with his geek torn up, with the bloody, then bruised, that would have been so awesome if they would have made that um, version of him, but this still pretty darn nice, honestly. Um, I don't regret really like getting it, you know. Um, it, like I said before, he was 80 at the con, I paid 112 for it, so a little bit over $20, you know, but I, I didn't have to go through the hassle of going to eBay and paying their prices, which, man, I'm pretty sure they're pretty high. I mean, even Big Bad Toy Story, they, the Brawly, the New York Comic Con exclusive Brawly, that thing is 80 was 80 at the con and is going for 160. I was like, I wanted that Broly and it was all 160. I was like, no, I'm not gonna pay 160 for it. You know, it should have been priced around Goku. If it was 120, yeah, I would have paid 120 for it, but not 160, that's for sure. But other than that, man, I'm really happy with this purchase. I don't regret it. And remember that they're gonna come out with a Super Saiyan 2 Goku. There's gonna be a standard release that is gonna uh, not have this paint job, but it's gonna have the articulation that all the new SH figure arts have. That is so much better, honestly. But other than that, this Goku came out really perfect. I, I love it, I enjoyed it, and I'm gonna display it proudly. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.